Hey guys, hope you're all fine. Today I'm going to talk about the power of bump map inside Blender using EV. Bump maps are usually used to create small detail bumps and wrinkles on the surface of object. This is done with the help of height map to change the surface normals of the object which can lead to some realistic results. But in this tutorial, I'm going to share a method that I have used to create realistic reflection with the help of height map. There are many ways to create bump map and there are many variations of it as it is used for different purposes in gaming engine. You can model or sculpt it and then bake it as height map. You can also use Photoshop to create bump map by painting black and white values manually. Just make sure to make the image 16 or 32 bit to get higher precision. You might already know that you can use roughness map to create reflective variation in Blender. You can use color ramp with any texture to have different patches of roughness scattered on the mesh surface. But what if you want to give distortion on highly reflective surface? You can use only roughness map for that as it will change the reflection values across the mesh. For that you will need to have texture with bump node. To get fast and easy results, you will need to use inbuilt textures. For this scene, I have used Musgrave for the floor and Voronai for the lockers. For the material setup for the floor, you will need to add bump node, then add Musgrave texture with mapping and texture coordinate. Make sure to plug texture coordinate object in mapping vector if you have not created UVs for it. Then first play with the Musgrave scale to define the scale of the texture and detail value which also helps in increasing its strength. Change the texture mapping scale of x, y or z axis value to shrink or shorten the texture. This will give you some vertical or horizontal random lines. After that give value to distance in bump node to less than 0.1. This will slightly affect the reflection just don't overdo it otherwise it will not look good. In a similar way, I have used Voronai texture with texture coordinate for the locker material for the distortion of reflection. I have slightly scaled its value to 5.26 and changed F1 to smooth F1 with the bump distance set to 0.008. Remember to make your models based on real world scale then you can use my values and it will work. Then that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys like it. If you like my tutorial then subscribe and support me on Patreon where you will be able to get the project files that I've used in my tutorial. Thanks for watching.